Hello Bengals. I hope that this week of distance-based instruction has gone as smoothly as possible. As I have said, we knew there would be challenges and issues to resolve, but I am so proud of the Herculean effort you have done to move the entirety of our instruction to the distance-based delivery model. This university has known great times and done great things in our past, but I honestly believe this may have been our finest hour. I saw an entire university come together to continue our mission of educating our students, to demonstrate our continued dedication to our students in a whole new way, and we did it with about two weeks' notice. Indeed, this may be our finest hour. I am so proud of this university. As a campus community, we're turning the corner. but. We are also beginning to really feel and realize that the situation we are in will not be solved in a few days or even a few weeks. I believe we are looking at at least another month of our social distancing and also teleworking and distance-based instruction to the end of the semester and into the summer. So to our ISU students, your dedication, resilience, and grit during this time will ensure that you can leave this institution with better access to careers and opportunities that will make your life better. The entire Bengal community, from faculty to staff to alumni, are rallying and cheering you on. So stay with this. It will all be worth it. And make sure that you are reaching out to your faculty, your academic advisors, and other campus resources to ensure you are staying on track. Remember. There are computer labs on campus that have been adjusted to ensure proper social distancing. Just bring your Bengal ID card with you to access the labs. And we have added drive-up Wi-Fi available in the parking lots at the Pond Student Union and at Holt Arena. And in Idaho Falls, we're extending Wi-Fi in the parking lot north of the Binion and in Meridian in the parking lot between the main entrance and the freeway. So if you're having internet connectivity issues, you can come to those parking lots on campus and log on without having to enter the buildings. And by the way, a big and well-deserved shout out to all of our IT crew who got that done. Great job. Now to our faculty and staff, I know there are gaps and issues with our telework and distance-based instruction. Please continue to work with your supervisors, the deans, the Instruction Technology Resource Center, Human Resources, and the Office of the Provost to work through those issues. I know this is hard for you as well, and the ability to navigate and help our students thrive during this time is so important, and I am so proud to support you in this. The times ahead will continue to be challenging. On top of our current public health crisis, our state, and very directly our institution, is facing significant budgetary challenges. This will mean additional issues to navigate ahead. And the budget cuts potentially coming due to the decline in the state's sales tax and income tax collections will likely be pretty severe cuts. And we will need to seriously review our programs, services, and operations to meet the challenges caused by those budget realities. I am working now on some communications to our faculty and staff probably for early next week, detailing the budget situation and how we will begin planning for it. So in the coming days, I will share more of our budget with the campus community. But let me tell you this, this institution has so much grit. In 1918, this university almost closed because of the Spanish flu epidemic. But we did not, we persisted. During World War I, enrollment dropped so low that there was a real movement to shut the university's doors. But again, we did not. We began offering military training and changed the way we did business, and we persisted. And again during World War II, the university's future looked bleak. But again, we persisted, and more than that, we thrived. That is what is ahead for us. Challenges? To be sure. Loss? Most likely. But also the opportunity for a future where we have come through this changed and made stronger 
and I choose to believe that this future is bright. That our university, our community, and each and every one of us will weather this storm and meet the new day that is on the other side of this. As the author Victor Hugo wrote in his book Les Miserables, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. So we will talk again soon. Thank you.